signing up for the last little bit of today's stream. In family, there is power. If we are to defeat the Iron Horde, we will need power beyond that which we possess. It is my hope that this land will reveal answers we had not yet thought of. Gorgon is no place for an armies, Commander. We are now stepping into the domain of legends. Ah, Blood Elves, good. I need someone who is not of my clan to negotiate with the Laughing Skull. We could use their help navigating this land, but they are dangerous and unpredictable, much like Gorgon itself. Follow this road and you seek out someone willing to speak with you. Perhaps they will see you as something new and be willing to talk first and stab later. Never leave a wolf. They may be mad, That's me. But they are the only orc clan familiar with this savage land. We may need to rely upon their knowledge. Husband, please reconsider. No good can come of this. Rokan sends word that you are needed in, at Frostwall. The Iron Horde have landed on the shores of Talador. Yeah, we'll right there later. With the pack. Talador. That is yeah. where we go after Grogrand. Yeah. This is how much we have leveled. <laughs> Rip fist. Ha! <laughs> Curious, what are you? We... We left the Gorn alone for too long. They grown bold and forgotten who we are. Kill them. Kill them all. Rip them apart until they scream. Remind them what happens to anyone who tries to attack a laughing skull village. Oh, and welcome to Gorgrand. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is Gargon. It's uh, a lot more Thousand Needles meets Theralis in the uh, in its look. Lady, <laughs> are you here to help or hinder? This village is being eaten. We must move quickly to salvage what we can. Gather the masks of our fallen Laughing Skull brothers and sisters, and meet me on the western side of the village. I will need them if our clan is to rebuild. Burn the bodies, but keep the skulls. Okay. Another quest to the east there, it looks like. Yep. We should probably go over there. I'm collecting these masks first. Ah. Hmm. I don't get credit for that. Did you not get the quest? Or did they disappear? They disappear. They're like, not shared. It's something you loot. Yeah, it's a quest. Uh, yeah, oh, I mean, like. Yeah, they disappeared then. <laughs> There's one up here for you to pick up. Okay. Nice, I can loot it on my mount. Insane. That is a big Agron. Uh, or not Agron, uh, Gron. Where? Over there. Oh, right. Yes. Rip Fist's dying wish has been satisfied. Goron corpses litter the ground, and these corpses have not gone unnoticed by the nearby Goron. All right. Womp. This is probably part of a quest. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Alright, here 
There's Limb Flare and Marrow. Eye Candy. You! Get in the fight or get out of our way. There is no ordinary Gorn attack. Look over there. A Grunling is sacking our Grub Hall. The Hunchback Gore Bucket bit a chunk out of my lovely Marrow. Rip the eye out of his forehead and bring it to me. That should buy me enough time to get clear of this Gorn hole. Okay. So wait, are we helping the Laughing Skull? It looks like it. Aren't they bad? Uh, not all of them, I guess. Alright. I guess there are some some good ones in the tribe. I've never actually seen this from Horde side, so. Ah, uh, interesting. I have. I've, I actually did the whole uh, crossfire. There's a corpse underneath this guy. You can pick up. Oh, shit. Yeah, there is. Okay, I got all my masks. So this hulking beast is a Gronling. Skothwa the Skull Eater. Don't forget to loot him. Hey, there goes I. Okay. Yeah, two corpses. I see them. There's also two over here, so let's just go over here. Yeah. So the Goron are annoying little bastards. They're like the trogs of this area, I guess. Uh huh. running with a uh, Goron on his back. God damn it, they keep attacking you. I had to get the corpse. Yeah, I'm just saying, they keep attacking you. A mighty Duratan descends from his mountain without an army. It would seem you have grown tired of living. I have come to hunt the Iron Hole. I could destroy the remains of your ruined Oh village. shit. Or perhaps I could assist one another. Burn fire and I accidentally burn. clicked through her dialogue. Uh, all she says is, we are the Laughing Skull. We do not flinch in the face of death. We laugh at it. There are more than fancy face there. With a mask and some proper incentive, we can make anyone a laughing skull. Die laughing. All right. Blood and thunder. Did you make that thing scream? Did it beg for mercy? Did you kill it before taking its eye? Tell me everything. <laughs> These okay. puppets of the Magnaron will pay for the skulls they claim today. For now, I shall wear this eye across my waist so this fool you have... Slain may watch as I slowly slaughter his brethren until my dying breath. How do you wear an eye across your waist? Welcome. You set it into the uh, buckle of your pants. Good luck. No, you just get like a plastic bubble, put it around it, and then fuse that bubble to the uh, to the pants. No. It could be like one of those eight balls. A flare for the dramatic. I've received a strange object with a note attached. Here, it seems to be written in your tongue, Commander. Dear Mr. Duratan, I'm Penny. You know, from Azeroth? We met briefly back in Miro's Garrison. Anyway, like I told you, I have a fifth degree black hammer in engineering and I'm eager to serve. The more danger, the better. 
You just fire this old flare whenever you're in trouble, and I'll be there quick as a cork. Hopefully, Penny. Stay strong. All right, let's shoot the flare, I guess. All I need is a wolf at my side and a fellow warrior at my back. That didn't seem to do much, Commander, except give away our position to every creature in Gorgrond. Wait, did you hear something? Oh, I didn't get credit for that. That's weird. Oh, and LVY's being dumb. I'm oh, sorry. We fight together or die alone. Let me know when you're ready to start the next quest. Bam. Alright. Duratan looks at you curiously. Those from your world are not much for subtlety, are they? Go on ahead and meet our new companion. We will join you as soon as we can make ready. Never leave behind. Alright, so this is called the Fertile Ground. As you can see, it is quite a bit more fertile than anywhere else we've been. There's also this dude fighting with that dude. And trees. And trees. Yeah, that's fighting the squirmels. Is this tree gone or will it come back? I think it's gone. You sack of shit. I'm stuck in the bush. See that? <laughs> hey, Omega Theory, how's it going? We're very close to the end of the stream, but happy to see you. What's how's your day treating you? We're meeting up with Penny here in Gorgrond. Sweet. What? I just leveled up. Oh, shit. Well, ah, there you are. Penny Slobberbottom reporting for duty, Commander. It's a horrible goblin voice. I didn't do a voice. Do a, do a goblin voice. No. So, get this. As I was flying in, I took the opportunity to scope out what might be a defensible position. Just on the other side of these boulders is an ideal clearing to hole up in. Ivan brought a set of blueprints to get us all settled in. That's not too presumptuous, is it? Anyway, whenever you're ready, just hit this plunger. Be careful out there. It's Saturday, so it's horrible. Why does Saturday make it horrible? Frost wolf blood runs thick. Perhaps this little creature will earn her keep after all. You've already constructed an impressive garrison in Frostfire. I believe I should defer this next choice to you. One region of Gorgon is rich in resources. A lumber mill could help us make the most of them. Another region harbors hardened gladiators. A sparring arena would help persuade them to fight for our cause. Either way, will strengthen us as we seek to find and weaken the Iron Horde. Which do you choose, Commander? Run with the pack. Um, Savage Fight Club. The Savage Fight Club will provide a training mission to improve existing followers. Hey. I forgot, Omega, did you play through Warlords of Draenor? We 
fight together. A fine choice. It will need more work before such a structure could be built in your garrison, but this is a start. Beasts of the Western Wasteland fight an endless war with the creatures of the Eastern Wilds. If one side were to overwhelm the other, all of Draenor would be doomed at the hand of the victor. The Laughing Skull seek revenge for the destroyed village. I have directed them to aim their vengeance at the nearby creatures, but our outpost here might be preserved. But if you would grow, would Commander, oversee their efforts. I have not yet grown to trust the Laughing Skull. Measure it carefully. If the rumors I hear are true. Hmm. So are we stopping here? Oh, there's another quest. Goring teeth make an excellent tool for cutting through the thickest armor. The destruction of our village will not be easy to come back. Our best hunter, Raxoth, finds regents for his shaman. She has not been seen for some time, and we need those more than ever. Go to her hunting grounds and see if she still lives. Girl Kor and his group are often not seen for weeks, returning only when they can carry no more trophies and supplies. He has been gone too long this time. He mentioned hunting in the Crimson Pen for the first time. See if he still lives. Wow. Okay. If your troops are going to learn to fight, you better get people to fight, and they better be good. Ever heard of Crash Dracor? He's a big, famous Frostwolf Orc warrior type that tried to kill us skulls. He would have won, too, if ogres hadn't snatched him. To the north is the Stone Mall Arena, where they took him, and a bunch of other big, bad, mean fighter or gladiators. If you can find a way to free them, they could be the best trainers you could hope for. For the Horde! Alright. And yes, I guess this is where we are done for today. Nice. Ain't there is on. an in here. It in is here. this rug. 